Alright folks, here's the Topolino Wi-Fi shield for the Arduino Uno. It comes with this connector cable, it plugs into the tape port of the Commodore machine. And this mate it with the Uno. Take a micro SD card, and there is a ESP8266 microcontroller on board, which is in charge with sharing the SD card over the Wi-Fi network. And these are the usual Topino buttons. This switch here turns the Wi-Fi on and off, and these two buttons used with the Wi-Fi, and this switch will be used for band recording to tapes, as it has a port for plugging a data set. Let's plug into a Commodore machine and see how it works. Let's turn it on and let's see what's on the SD card. There's a recorded folder, Commando, Headfit, so there are only two top files on this SD card. Press Shift Run Stop and then press Select, it will start loading. Press space bar. And where is it loaded? Okay, let's uh, copy a game to the SD card. I have a website, low64.com forward slash top bank. Something looks like this. This is the uh, web uh, file hosting service. It's made up the uh, ultimate tape archive. You can download this torrent and download everything at once if you like, or you can just pick the top file you want from the server. Let's, let's say Capcom Collection. There are lots of files on this one. Let's pick another one. Let's go for a couple. Can look at the pictures. This is the inlay, and it even comes with instructions. Right, okay, let's go back and download both top files and go to downloads folder. Select them both, right click, and then send to Topino. Here. Okay, let's power cycle. And let's see if they are there. There's the cable side and side two and to the games. So that's how the uh, Wi-Fi works. Um, if you want to delete something of the SD card, you'll need to go to this PC and top, you know, and you can just delete them as you wish. And when you go back to Topino, you'll see they disappeared. All right, let's uh, write a small basic program. If you typed in a basic program, you can save it to SD card. Go to record and choose auto and press select. And if I start saving to SD. Let's just finish saving. 
and you can go to your SD card to the folder recorded then you'll find the top file and just drag and drop it to your win win voice and there it is okay let's take a look at the how to record the blank cassette tapes and backup tapes to SD. Okay, I have my data set plugged into Topuino and both data set and Topuino is powered by a power bank. Now first make sure you need to, this switch is on the right and you need to go to settings. Make sure invert is 1 and then go to auto finalize should be 0. Okay, um, go to record, auto, press play, and press start. All right, once the, at the end of the tape, you need to Press the abort button. And then let's go back to SD card. Refresh. And here you can see the new one appeared. Let's copy it to the desktop. And drag and drop it to minimize again. Meanwhile, we can also check it with final tap. And let's see. Well, it gave recognize 100%. And if we do a cleanup, as you can see, they all passed. And let's see if it loads up on WinWise. There you go. Okay, we have successfully backed up a cassette tape to a SD card. Let's do the opposite now. I'll get a blank tape. Okay, I have an old music tape here. Let's... Right, we need to go to select. Uh, you have to make sure that this uh, switch is on the right again. And uh, just check your uh, options. The invert has to be 1. And just go to play, command ls, choose head fit, and then press record and play. Right, okay, let's plug the data set back into C64 and see if it works. Uh, let's rewind the tape first. Press shift, run stop, and play. Yep, it looks everything's okay.